Right, all right. Hey, hey, Capricorns, welcome back. All right, you guys, so we're going to do a little deep dive today, right? So we're looking at, obviously, underwater. We've got the, the Sphinx here. We've got that, that whole energy of, like, what's happening under the surface. So let's just take a peek and let's see what is happening underneath everything. Ooh, hold on. Too many cards, too many cards. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. Um, please don't forget, if you are having trouble getting my notifications, try unsubscribing and resubscribing real quick because that can reset it for you. And I don't want you guys to miss out on the fact that I'll be doing some giveaways um, throughout uh, this weekend. I'll be going live and then I'll also be doing a giveaway every single day from February 1st through the 14th. So you might want to make sure that you guys are able to access that and see that. Okay. So if you haven't been getting my notifications and you're subscribed to my channel, unsubscribe and resubscribe and that should fix it. And subscription of course is free you guys. Anyway, thanks everybody for being here. Here we go. Miss Sunshine and the Sea Witch. <laughs> Capricorns, what's going on here? Miss Sunshine and the Sea Witch, really? Um, so we've got we've got some kind of um I'm gonna say we have a mystery here underneath it all. We've got a combination of light and dark. We've got a little bit of a, um, Capricorn, somebody wants something, but they're not really saying it. They're almost trying to come at it in a sideways fashion, maybe to, to compel you to be the one to take action is, is what I'm getting off of that. Let me get, let me get one more. I don't know. That's an interesting thing. Somebody is, I don't feel like they're hiding who they are. I just think that they are hoping you will do what one ring circus. Are you aloof right now, Capricorn? Are you, okay. So one ring circus is where we are just kind of like living our life, doing our thing. I feel like somebody wants you to ask them out or wants you to take action toward them. They're not really saying it. They're hoping you'll figure it out, but you seem to be pretty um, like self-satisfied right now. The things that you're working on in your life, the things that you're doing are keeping you busy at this moment. Um, and yet this person is like, I don't know. I feel like, are they pulling out the stops, trying to get your attention, trying to get you to, to look their way? Um, they have an agenda. They're coming across super sweet, but they have an agenda. Six of cups, two of swords in the reverse, two of wands in the upright. Yeah, they want you. It's like, pick me, pick me, pick me. Come on. I'm a soulmate. Come to me. Come see me. Choose me. I think somebody is not. I don't know why they don't want to ask you out themselves or why they don't want to tell you exactly what it is that they want from you, but somebody wants you to be the one to do it, but they're they're like flouncing around. They're trying to catch your attention. This is somebody who's literally they're giving off smoke signals, but they're not talking to you directly. They, they want you to know that they're really great, that they're a great person, that you would have a lot of fun with them, but they want you to do the heavy lifting maybe, or they just can't seem to tell if you're interested in them so they're trying to do everything they can to tell you without being overt that they're interested in you. We've got a nine of pentacles. I, and this person is also trying to act like, yeah, see, I'm, I'm really just focused on me too. It's weird though. This person, I think that they do have a lot of great qualities. Um, this is somebody who is very self-sufficient. But why are they struggling so much to just spit it out? Like, Capricorn, I'm interested in you. Why are they struggling with this? We've got the Six of Swords. Oh, Six of Swords is where somebody is trying to move on from something difficult. Are they, is that why we have the light and the dark here? Is this somebody who is like, they, maybe they're getting out of a different situation and they really want you to start dating them or something? Oh, we got the chariot in the reverse. Or do they want you to almost come in and rescue them, be their hero somehow. Moving on from something, but then not really moving. Why? What is it that they need from you? Somebody needs or wants something from Capricorn that they don't seem capable of getting on their own. What is this? And why all the, the subtle cues instead of just saying it? Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. They want... I think somebody has this um, this dream that you will 
start like showing up and fighting for them and, and, and bring them out of their heartbreak and their betrayal. I think somebody does want you to be their hero. The only thing is this person, they're interested in you wanting you to be interested in them. But instead of them just being upfront and interested in this story, we have a character who is like, they've mapped out how they want Capricorn to come in and interact with them. It's like, they've got a, they've got a bit of a fantasy going on here about how great it would be if Capricorn came in and healed my heart when all the while they're the ones that are crazy about Capricorn. It's almost like they don't need somebody to come in and heal their heart. They just need to, you know, pony up and say, Hey Cap, I'm really interested in you. I think this person's scared to get hurt again in this story. Um, let's look at why is Capricorn over here with the one ring circus. Capricorn single solo in this storyline and busy, busy, busy. We got a five of wands in the reverse. Capricorn does not want games, not interested in any kind of game playing. Not interested in somebody who wants to puppet me, get me in a competition with others so that you can feel like, oh, which one do I want? I'm not doing this. Capricorn doesn't touch us with a 10-foot pole. Star card upright and the Six of Swords in the reverse. So Capricorn is single and solo because they're saying, I'm not dealing with anyone else's drama. If you have an agenda of how you want me to give you attention to make you feel better, I know you're kind of throwing yourself at me. I know you want me to come in and like sweep you off your feet, but I'm not sure if you do that with lots of people, but I'm not going to be played that way. Capricorn seems to be um, very content to just tell the universe, bring me someone wonderful. I'm, I'm ready to receive something amazing. Um, it's weird because both of these people know, both of these people know that the other one is interested. Because Capricorn hasn't actually moved on from this either. Capricorn is still a little stuck on this, this person. But they're also not taking action toward them because it's almost like Capricorn says, no, they want me to make them feel super, super special. And I want someone who actually is really special. And I want a really special romance and something really beautiful. I don't want something that feels like they've got some agenda and I know they want me to want them. And then I have to go through some hoops, but they might also be wanting other people to compete for them. It's interesting that Capricorn is looking at this story. Please remember, these are only stories. I'm not a psychic. None of this is real. This is only entertainment. So bear that in mind. But in this story, what we have is Capricorn saying, I'm, you might've Capricorn might've tangled with this person before. And they know that this person plays a certain role like they are their own they live in their own movie and in their movie they want to be um a certain character and they want to be treated in a certain way and there's a i almost want to say a bit of manipulation here makes sense why we see the light and the dark here um the, they act really sweet and intriguing and all of that, but they really want Capricorn to chase them around. I don't know if this person messed up with Capricorn in the past and now really wants Capricorn to be the one to put in effort now that maybe they've had, maybe there's been time apart. Maybe this is a situation where two people, you know, separated, went their separate ways, um, have still kind of remained like friends. There's still attraction there, but there's there's old energy there, but now this person wants Capricorn to like, show me that you really still want me. Eey, you got the lovers in the reverse. Um, I don't know that this thing is going to come back around. I think that this person might through their, um, I'm not going to lie. I don't love the energy that we see off of that first person. You know, they, there's game playing with this storyline, at least with these cards that have come out. They are heartbroken, but but they really um, they want Capricorn to fix it. But I almost feel like even though they legitimately may be heartbroken, they still haven't for some reason they still haven't um, been able to. I want to say do right by Capricorn, but the lovers in the reverse. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse too. I'm afraid that as much as this person is hoping that, you know, Capricorn will be like, oh, well, that was all in the past. We let bygones be bygones. Um, now we can be friends. I feel like this was somebody that there was old romance with. Things didn't end well. 
each person went their separate way. Now they're separated again from whoever else was in their life. And the two have had like an interesting friendship, but there's still an underlying, like, I think they hurt Capricorn in the past, maybe. And now Capricorn is definitely not interested in falling for it, even though Capricorn still maybe has some emotions for them. But we still see this, I'm changing direction. I'm not on my way back to you. And this person keeps thinking that they can be, if they're alluring enough, they can get the Capricorn to come back toward them. And it, mm, got an emperor sideways. Um, I'm sorry about the barking of my doggy there. Um, with the emperor that came out sideways, we have, and it's a female emperor, but you notice how this person has all these people on strings. I kind of feel like, the reason the Capricorn is saying, no, no, I'm not doing this. I know that you have a tendency toward wanting a lot of attention and then keeping people on strings. I know that you do this. I've seen the game that you play. And that's why it, and if you won't own it, if you won't admit that you do that, then I know that you haven't changed yet. So there, I'm not on my way back to you. That's what this is looking like. Judgment, though. Yet somebody really, 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 really wants to have a do-over, but I don't think this person has grown yet. Uh, five of swords in the reverse. I don't know. They're acting like they don't want to have conflict. They don't want to break somebody's heart. Definitely looks like somebody had broken somebody's heart in the past. They wanted, they've been trying to be sickeningly sweet for a while. Ace of wands in the reverse though. They've been trying to be sickeningly sweet for a long time, trying to get Capricorn's attention again. Capricorn has been very wise to the fact that this person they do thrive on attention in this story. And so knowing that Capricorn is like, I want to say distrustful that, that this person doesn't still operate like that, where it's, it's more about, um, you know, I want a lot of attention. And I think Capricorn's got their number. They understand this. They don't see evidence of this person changing. Have they made peace with it? Yes. Is this person going to try to hurt them again? No, but Capricorn is also saying, but I don't actually feel the same way. It's not that I I want you out of my life and you're a villain. It's more like, I think Capricorn has genuinely changed how they feel about this person. And this person is a funny blend of, I think they're just very, very into themselves and Capricorn knows it. And it's like, they are what they are. In the meantime, Capricorn is wanting the star. They're wanting something. Maybe Capricorn already has their eye on someone else that they haven't moved toward yet. Tell me about the star for Capricorn. We've got the world. Could be somebody at a distance. Could be some other opportunity. Could be something far away. Could be something that is really exciting. Could be another Capricorn. Could be just Capricorn looking at, I want my hopes, wishes, and dreams to come true. Um, King of Cups. No, Capricorn's got the idea in their head of really feeling like they're going to be with someone who's very loving, very emotionally available, someone who doesn't play any games at all. Capricorn has something on their mind. That star card is I am wishing for the kind of love that I know I want. I love this because it's showing that um, Capricorn is letting go of whatever the, the X was. Six of Cups. They know that there's more than one soulmate out there. And Capricorn is saying the, the kind of love, the kind of soulmate that I want, I want the kind that, um, not that that other person might not be a soul group member, but the soulmate that I want to be in love with is someone who is really open, really loving, really available. I want to start a new romance with someone. And it could be somebody who's at a distance. It could be could be with another Capricorn, could be with a water sign, could be with an Aquarius, doesn't have to be. Um, but we have we have something beautiful up ahead for the Capricorn, and the Capricorn knows it. They know, they got the number, that X, they know, they, I got your number. You know what? I know exactly how you are. Judgment. What's weird about this is that um, Capricorn has been going single for a while now. They've got their eye or their mind is set on the kind of love, the kind of relationship that they want to have. This could be them coming out of the coffin. Um, this could be Capricorn, you know, stepping out ready to, to um, like have a do over in love and romance, or this could be 
that the Capricorn wants somebody else who is from their past, who is from, at a distance from them, who they think about, who they know is a soulmate, who is loving and stable. I think this is one of those stories where we have possibly, this is one storyline, we have two exes. One ex, they had to connect with one more time just so they could confidently say, I have zero interest in going down that road again. I can see who that ex was. I can see that they are, you know, they're, they need attention all the time. They want me to chase them. And I can honestly say, as attractive as they may be, I'm no longer attracted to them. And now that I put that away, now that I'm able to see that that person, yes, they were part of my soul group. They were important to me, but they are not my my future. They're not my romantic partner. I have an idea in my mind that there is a romantic partner out there, a different ex, someone that I actually already possibly know. They may be very different from me. They may live far, far away. And that is the soul might mate that I want. That is the one that I do want to reconcile with. Capricorn may have two different exes here. Now, the other story here could simply be that Capricorn is ready to come back out and ready to manifest the person that they want, but they want somebody loving. They want somebody who gets them. They want somebody who's fun, somebody that they interact with on a, on a delightful, you know, basis. And I feel, I don't know. I still feel like this is someone that they already kind of know. Eight of swords. It's been a situation that this person had either been stuck or Capricorn had been stuck, maybe because they were still dealing with thinking the, you know, like, what do I do with X number one? You know, what do I do with them? I wonder if Capricorn has been doing soul searching, making sure that they were done. Wow, we got a queen of pentacles. We got an ace of wands. We got a page of wands and we've got four of cups. Ooh, okay. So we have a beautiful matched pair now as far as a, a king and a queen, right? So we have the, the king of cups that we saw. Now we have the queen of pentacles. Passionate, somebody that, um, especially with this page of wands, this is like someone who either, I worry though that Capricorn's worried that this X number two, the one that they want, that there's been a missed opportunity with them that they even regret, maybe, um, maybe they turn somebody away and maybe they think of that person. What if they no longer have passion for me because I was busy being single and solo because I was still making peace with my, my other ex and figuring out that I don't want the other ex. Capricorn might be a little bit concerned that, that an individual that they want, what if they've lost some of their passion at this point? Um, now, this could also just be X number two has been busy thinking, well, I'm sure Capricorn probably has gone a different direction. I'm sure they're not thinking of me anymore. Their their interest in me has dwindled. They haven't talked to me very in a very long time or not very much anymore because we see like diminishing passion. We see a queen of pentacles and then we see this ace of passion, you know, this ace of wands, big passion. And then we just go to a page of passion. So we've been downgrading passion to the point where somebody goes, oh, no, Capricorn didn't pick me. OK, so I think that th this other ex thinks that Capricorn isn't interested or just simply someone who Capricorn actually has eyes for has no idea that Capricorn is interested in them. They thought they were at one point, but then they are like, I guess Capricorn must have chosen somebody other than me because I really haven't heard much. So I feel like the second person is someone that Capricorn, again, Capricorn shows up single, single, single. They haven't, you haven't been interacting with, with, you haven't been in a romance with person number one. You've been instead seeing them and detaching from them. And now as you're thinking about the kind of love you really want and your mind seems to be going toward exactly the kind of person you want, someone who maybe already tried to get your attention and you weren't ready for them at that point. Um, I think you're contemplating this now and it's like, well, I wonder, I wonder what they're thinking. They may be thinking that they figured you weren't interested in them. It could be another earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Um, or it's that, that you're now worried, have they changed their mind about me? Did I miss my opportunity with, with this other person because I was busy staying single while I was working out what is this, this first potential person? Who are they in my life? 
it's interesting. I've never had um, you guys have a reading quite like this where we're seeing the, um, you know, like when we remove things from our life and then it gives space for us to welcome other things into our life. Um, I think it's really good to see that. But let's go ahead and say, so what's the final outcome here? What's the final outcome? In fact, let's just go with an oracle so we can have a, a like broad interpretation. <laughs> I love it. Simplicity. The final outcome is simplicity. And we have this feather. We have simply listening to what we're guided to do. If you are guided to not interact with a previous ex, simplify your life by maybe even saying, we're not going to be back in romance again. You know, I'm not interested and that's not going to change if that's the truth, right? Not interested. I'm actually interested in someone else. And then turn your attention to the person that you're actually interested in, the whatever the other X was, the, the one that's on your mind, or if it's a new person, where, where is your interest? What is your, what are you being guided to say and do? Because this is all just simplicity is the truth is the simplest thing. I have seen who my first ex really was. There's someone who always needs attention. That's why I'm not interested in them. Bam, done, closed book, right? This other individual is someone that I am interested in. And that's all I need to worry about right now is that I am interested and I need to tell them that I'm interested. All of the other confusion, what are they thinking? What am I thinking? Blah, 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 blah. All that is wasted energy. Let's make it simple. I'm interested. Can we talk? Like, And it doesn't look like Capricorn was out running game, trying to hurt anybody. It doesn't look like there was any game playing on the side of Capricorn whatsoever. Um, I think it was just Capricorn was like allowing allowing life to reveal itself, um, allowing themselves to have the time to really look at how someone was behaving, evaluate who they are. Is Capricorn interested? I think Capricorn didn't want to rush themselves to make any decisions until they could really clearly see who, who each person is to them. And I think that Capricorn now wants to have some kind of reconciliation with X number two is what it looks like. So I'm going to leave this here. It is what it is. Take from it whatever, um, if there's anything that makes sense or puts a smile on your face. But remember, this is only for entertainment. So whatever you do, whatever you choose, however you interpret this, it's all up to you. So um, remember, I am not a psychic, so I don't tell you how life's going to go. Only you pick that. So, all right, guys, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for liking this video, for subscribing to my channel. Mwah, lots of love. Bye.